I'll have to share the screen. Uh, share screen. Where is my universal? Okay. Here we go. All right. All right number one, <clears throat> we have y is equal to 2x squared plus 8x minus 10. All right. Remember, it's minus 10. I made a mistake on the on the, on the uh, problem or typing it out. If you want to do this in factored form, you have to take out the 2 first, and then make sure you get the GCF, and it's x squared plus 4x minus 5. And if you factor this out, this is negative 5, a times c, a times, and this is 1, is negative 5, and then 4. B is 4. Two numbers that multiply to the negative 5 and add up to the 4 are 5 and negative 1. Okay? A lot of people put the 2 above the 5 and the 1. Please do not do that. It's this number. It's, it has to be inside the parentheses if you want to do that. So this answer is the factored form is y is equal to 2 and x plus 5 and x minus 1. Okay? So the 5 and the negative 1 are go here and here. All right. If we want to put this in completing the square form, you're going to add that. So I'm going to write this in standard form again. I'm going to add the 10 to both sides first. The y plus 10 is equal to 2x squared plus 8x. Then I'm going to take out the 2 from this. You can take out the 2x, but Again, because we're completing a square, you just want to take out the number. So y plus 10 is equal to 2, and then x squared plus 4x. Divide this by 2, which is 2, square it. That's 4. And I can't just add a number to one side and not do anything to the other side. But remember, you're adding 8 because you're multiplying the 4 into 2, so you're adding 8 on the other side. So the final answer is y plus 18 is equal to 2. This portion right here, you're factoring it. And it's 4 and 4, so it's going to be 2 and 2. So it's going to be x plus 2 times x plus 2. x plus 2 times x plus 2 is x plus 2 squared. And remember that the vertex formula is y minus k is equal to a times x minus h squared. The h is the x coordinate of the vertex, so that is negative 2. And this is negative 18. Okay, so that's our vertex here. All right. I'm going to keep going so I can finish this video. All right. Number two is graph y is equal to 2 and then x minus 4 squared plus 3. Notice that this is in vertex form. Okay, you have to recognize. And remember, the plus 3 could be over here. It could be this. This and these two are the same thing. So our vertex is 4 and 3. The H and K. The H is the 4. The K is the 3. This three, if you if you did the other format, it, this still would be the three and this still be the four. All right. So after that, so let's graph four, three. Bless you. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. All right. Then we're going to plug in numbers around the four. So you're going to plug in three and five and two and six here. Just color coding it a little bit. So you plug it into this table right here. Let me make some space here. All right, so you plug it in here. It would be y equals two and then x minus four squared plus three. You plug in three and five. This is for the x, this is the y y is equal to 2, and then 3 minus 4 squared plus 3. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 3 would be 5. It would be 3, 5, 
And if you plug in five, it's also going to be five because it's symmetrical. Okay. If you plug in two, y is equal to two and then two minus four squared plus three. Negative two squared is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times eight plus three is eleven. So you have two eleven, six eleven, and you get this parabola right here. Okay, so you're pretty much just finding the vertex and then plugging in a number right and left of the vertex. Okay. Cool. And again, you get a recording of this, so yeah. Thank you. All right. Number three, Kendra sells 50 pens. So if you if you sell 50 pens, unit price, right, is um five dollars. Revenue is what? What's 50 times five is 250 on the revenue, right? If I spell if I sell 45 pens, if I sell less pens because I increase the price of 550, I think my revenue is what? 24750, right? Yeah. So notice that this price goes down. Oh, sorry, the revenue goes down. So I have to go the other way. What if I sold 55 pens at Four dollars and fifty cents. What would my revenue be? Two forty-seven fifty, right? So right there, we realize that this is the maximum price right here. Okay, all right. So that is the best uh, bang for your buck right there. So if I make sure you do this in order, all right. So like this is like one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, or five, six, I'll say seven, right? Four, 50 would be at 250. 450 would be at 247. 550 would be at like 247. So it looks something like this here. Something to that extent, okay? Yeah, so don't, don't take too much time. All right. And then number four is vertex form. You have, to, you have the equation. All right. If you have the equation or you have the graph, the graph has a vertex of negative two, negative nine. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It has X uh, values at X intercepts at one and five, negative five, three, four, five. It'd be something like this. Okay. Here are the, so we have standard form, which is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. We have factored form, a is equal to x minus r, x minus r. And then we have vertex form, y is equal to Actually, let's just do y minus k is equal to a and then x minus h squared. Okay. So let's look at this one right here. This is probably the easiest one. Why is it the easiest one? Because we already ha we have two of the roots. We have one root right here at one, and we have another root right here at negative five. So all you have to do is just plug it into this formula right here. Y is equal to a x minus negative five and then x minus one make sure you put parentheses when you're substituting all right this simplifies to y is equal to a and then x plus five x minus one so we're almost done with the factor form what we need to do is we need to get the a in order for us to get the A, we have to plot any point on this parabola. Okay, so if you look at a point, the vertex is what? Negative 2, 9. We could also plug in, let's plug in 0, 5. Notice that the graph goes on 0, 5. It's not on this graph, but on the graph that is on your worksheet, it goes through 0, 5. Let's plug that in. And let's try to get the A that way. So we have 5 is equal to A 
and zero plus five, zero minus one. Okay, notice I replaced the y with the five and the zero with the x. You're right, negative five, you're right. So what am I doing? So it should be right here. Sorry, thank you. So you just have to like, put me in the right on time. So what, this is negative five is equal to a and then five times negative one. This is negative five is equal to negative five a, you divide by negative five. And so what, a is equal to one. All right. So if we put the factored form together, it's y is equal to one and then x plus five x minus one. You don't have to put the one, but this is factor four. All right. Now we want to boil this out to get the standard form. So y is equal to x plus five x minus one. If the number wasn't one, we would have to multiply that other number too, but Right now, we just want to foil it out. So it'll be y is equal to x squared minus x plus 5x minus 5. y is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 5. This is in standard form. Then we want to put it in vertex form. All right. And vertex form is again, y minus k is equal to a and then x minus h squared. Our vertex is negative two, negative nine. This is the h, this is the k. So y minus negative nine is equal to a is one, right? We already got that from before. And then x minus negative two squared. Simplify this, this will be y plus nine is equal to one and x plus two squared. And that is your vertex form. All right, let me turn off the zoom. There we go. There we go. Okay.